This lesson is about conditional probability. Look at a situation with car ownership. Here we have 240 people in total. 180 are females, 60 are males. 156 are SUV owners and 84 sports car owners. 21 males own an SUV. 39 males own a sports car. 135 females own an SUV. 45 females own a sports car. Now, P of F, this is just standard probability. It means the probability of choosing a female out of everyone. And everyone is the grand total 240. P, SUV, means the probability of choosing an SUV owner out of everyone. Again, it's 240 people. P, S, uh, P of F and SUV means the probability of choosing a female SUV owner out of everyone, 240 people again. So this is nothing new, this is just standard probability. Conditional probability is a probability with a given condition. The total is not out of everyone this time, the total is out of the condition that's given. Okay, so you write a conditional probability with this symbolic notation, P parentheses, event X, straight bar, event Y. It's read as the probability of choosing someone with both X, Y events. So this is an um, um, what do you call it? intersection and situation. Given the condition Y, the second event is a condition. Okay, so it's read as with the word given. The bar, we say it with the word given. To the car ownership situation. P of F bar SUV means the probability of choosing a female SUV owner. Notice it's both conditions, people who are female and own an SUV, given out of the total of all SUV owners. Not out of everyone, but SUV owners, which are these people here. So let's, take, let's write that fraction. How many people are female SUV owners? That's 135. And how many people are SUV owners? 156. Again, it's not out of a total of everyone, but out of SUV owners only. And the numerator is people with both qualities. What if we reverse it? What if we want P of SUV bar F this time? Means the probability of choosing a female SUV owner Again, both qualities, given a total out of all females. Notice the second event is your denominator. So let's write that fraction. Female SUV owners, those are the 135 people. Out of all females, that's 180. So as you can see, when you reverse the condition in the conditional probability, you end up with a different fraction. The difference is the denominator. The numerator is still the same people, denominator changed. Now let's practice calculating some conditional probability. This first one here is an intersection. We're trying to find the probability of all females who own an SUV. So those numbers are, the number of female who own SUV is 135 all over 240. This is nothing new. You've done this many times. Okay. Now things change when we do a conditional probability. This, the numerator will be the same. This says find the probability of all female owners of SUV. So it's still 135. Notice the same numerator. The denominator are not out of everyone, but out of SUV owners. And SUV owners, there are 156 of them. Okay, notice how these two are the same, same numerator, but different denominator. Here, where we switch the condition around, this time the condition is female. This says find the probability of female SUV owners out of a total of female. So SUV owners, there are 135 of them that are female, and the total is, is out of all females, which is 180. 
So as you can see, the condition, which is the second event, the condition gives you the denominator. Okay? Here, when there's no condition, then it's out of the grand total, out of everyone. All right? So try to keep that straight when you do conditional probability. That's it.